My oldest son, Danny, was diagnosed with acute lymphocytic leukemia in 1967, the year I started to look into marijuana. He had to get cancer chemotherapeutic drugs, which he just hated it because he'd vomit, he was nausea, he'd come home here and uh, he'd lie for eight hours in a bed with a bucket. My wife said to me, shouldn't we get Danny some marijuana? And I said, no, we can't do that. It's against the law. My wife protested that I objected to that. And the next time he had therapy, I went into the treatment room, and they were laughing. They were having jokes. And she told me that Danny had smoked marijuana outside in the parking lot. It was just amazing to us. He not only didn't get nausea, he got off the table and he said, looked up at his mother and said, hey, can we stop for a sub sandwich on the way home? And from that time on until his death, he never had to deal with the nausea and vomiting again. I thought, my goodness, we've got to find a way to let people like my son and like these other people who have found this useful as a medicine, something which diminishes their suffering, we've got to find a way to make it available.